Are you ready, girls and boys? Are you ready, boys and girls? It's time. It's time for the Shaker Egg song. Shake, 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 shake your Shaker Egg. Shake, 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 shake your Shaker Egg. Shake, 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 shake your Shaker Egg. Cause this is the Shaker Egg song. Hello everyone, it's Miss Kin from Miss Kin's Children's Music. Today's topic is percussion instruments. There are so many different percussion instruments in the world. I have a few that I would like to share with you and you can learn something new about percussion instruments. Are you ready to learn, children? First up and one of my absolute favorite is the shaker egg. As you know, I wrote a song called the Shaker Egg Song. So this is a plastic egg filled with beads or seeds that move around. So you can shake it in any rhythm you want. So it could be a slow song or a fast song. You can take two eggs and shake them together. It gives you a more exciting sound. Don't you just love shaker eggs? I love the Shaker Egg song. Shake, 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 Shaker Egg. Maracas, maracas are also called rumble shakers or cha-chas. Sometimes they're made with plastic and they have little seeds inside them or plastic balls. And there's usually two. Sometimes they're made with wood. can get really into the rhythm. Then I have this single, sort of a maraca, a shaker. It's made with wood. Shakers are really fun. You can hear the difference in sound of the plastic. Wood has a more natural sound. But nonetheless, all maracas and shakers are so much fun. This is a kabasa. It has these small steel metal beads that go around in this cylinder. You can see it's round and you have a handle and you hold it in your hand that you usually use. I use my right hand. Some may use your left. You can use this in several different ways. You can shake it like a shaker. You can shake it and hit the with the kabasa. And then you can shake. You can shake and twist. Or you can So there's many different ways to play the kabasa. I'm not a master kabasa player, but I'm very creative. Claves are another percussion instrument. Some are made with fiberglass or plastic. And there are usually two of them. They're also ones that are made of wood. So basically you, you hit them together. You, you bang them together and you can make different rhythms. Very creative. Then they have wooden claves. They're hollow. They're not binoculars, no. But they're hollow in the middle, so it gives it a different sound. So the wood gives a different sound. It's good times. This is a wood block. As you can see, it's a small rectangular wooden block with a little slit here to help make the sound. And then we have a wooden stick. So you can hit it right in the middle to make rhythm. Or you can hit it off to the side. 
could be as creative as you want to be. One of my favorite instruments to play that's a percussion instrument is called the tambourine. I'm sure you have heard this one before. This is one type of tambourine. They have many types of tambourines, but these little things here are called jingles. And here's the handle. And you can really have fun with this. You can shake it and hit it. Shake it and hit it. Shake it, hit. Shake, hit. Shake, hit, hit, shake. who love the winter holiday season of Christmas. There's jingle bells. And this works because there are four rows of jingle bells with one on top, like the cherry on top of your ice cream. And again, you can shake it any way you like to the rhythm of a song. Shake and hit. Shake and hit. Shake, hit. Shake, hit. I love using jingle bells for my holiday songs. Now here is an interesting one that we don't see very often. This is made of wood. It's also got a hollow hole inside. It's got these little notches on them. They call this guiro. It's a guiro instrument, but you need a stick. And you rub it across the notches to make a rhythm. You can also hit any rhythm instrument anywhere. Gives different sounds on the top, but really this is made to make a rhythm on the notches by sliding it across. Fun! Now we have a percussion instrument called the cowbell. Cows used to wear them around their neck to let their owners know where they were. But they're also used as a musical instrument. percussion instrument. It's a tubular percussion instrument. And these are little metal tubes of different lengths. You can see some are shorter, some are longer. And it's held on by strings. And there's there's two in a row. You, know, you probably can't see it, but there's two in a row. Maybe you can see these two over here. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. There's 48 chimes. You don't have to use a stick. A lot of people use their hands. You may hear wind chimes outside. Some are made of wood, some are made of metal. But these are used in music, in orchestras or rock bands even. You can hear them in all sorts of music. But you usually use your hands. You can go longest to short or shortest to longest. What a beautiful sound. And our last percussion instrument from Miss Kim are the bongos. This is made of metal. This top part that you see that's light tan is made of skin. Sometimes it's animal skin, sometimes it's a fake skin that they manufacture. Bongos have a big drum and a small drum. The big drum is called hombre. It's a Spanish word. The small drum is called macho. And people who play professionally are called bongoseros. I'm not a professional bongo sales. <laughs> However, I do have some fun rhythm and I love to play with the bongos. You can play on different places, different parts. Fun. There is no wrong. 
song in rhythm? Well, there could be if you're playing in a band and they want you to stay in rhythm. However, when you're by yourself and having fun, you can have rhythm any way you like. Hear the rhythm? It's inside you. Bye, everybody. It was great to have you with Miss Kim learning about different percussion instruments. Have a wonderful day. Kazoo is a musical instrument. You play it with your mouth. You're humming into the big side to make a buzzing sound. Whatever you hum is the melody that you will hear. Anyone can play the kazoo, my dear. The kazoo. The kazoo in the tub You can play it in the park You can hum right into the big side While driving in a car Whatever you hum is the melody That you will hear Anyone can play the kazoo, my dear The kazoo